விஜய ராணி அசோசியேட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் அண்ட் ஹெட் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் ஹோம் சயின்ஸ் வி வி வனைபெருமாள் காலேஜ் ஃபார் விமன் விருதுநகர் இன் திஸ் செஷன் யூ வில் பி நோயிங் அபவுட் வாட் இஸ் சில்ட்ரன் வித் ஸ்பெஷல் நீட்ஸ் ஹவு டு யூ கிளாசிஃபை இட் அண்ட் அ ஃபியூ காசஸ் ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் physically handicapped and gifted children i hope you might have studied about physical and motor social emotional and intellectual development of normal children actually every day we come across uh, normal children but we don't notice the children with uh, children with special needs every day we come across deaf children blind children mentally retarded children that time and all we feel pity for them actually before we call these people as exceptional children atypical children deviant children disabled children but all these terms that won't suit these people that may hurt them so in modern times we use this term children with special needs children with special needs actually these children they need a special condition special structure and a special treatment also so that we can provide the educational emotional and social needs of that child and also a teacher a special teacher is also needed itinerant teacher is also needed to train all these children normal teacher cannot handle these children okay how do you define the children with the special needs one committee has defined children with special needs as the children those who deviate those who deviate from what is supposed to be average in physical mental emotional or social characteristics we expect something uh, basic thing from a child from that these children they may deviate from it not only in the physical mental emotional or social characteristic so to such an extent that they require because of that they require special educational services in order to develop to their maximum capacity these children they don't have uh, the capacity of a normal child okay so according each and everybody is unique and their each and everybody's capacity is also different so what the special educational services it's uh, doing that may develop their the children with the special needs capacity at the maximum at the maximum so that they need special educational services so children with special needs as uh, children as those who deviate from what is supposed to be average in physical mental emotional or social characteristics to such an extent that they require special educational services in order to develop to their maximum capacity got the meaning of it okay now we'll see how the children with the special needs are classified first one physically handicapped second one mentally handicapped then gifted hearing impaired visually impaired speech impaired emotionally disturbed and socially maladjusted in this way the children with the special needs are classified actually how these children are in what areas they need help means school work they need help they can't do their work school work by themselves and they need help in reading writing number work that means reading writing arithmetic for everything they need help not only that in order to express themselves they may not be in a position what they want and 
they might not be in a position to understand what others are saying for that also they need help and they won't mingle with others so making friends also and also they don't know how to uh, talk or how to interact with the adults for that also they need help and behaving properly in the school also they need help organizing themselves to get ready not only that sensory or physical needs for everything according to their capacity the need that may vary from person to person now let's see physically handicapped when the limbs nerves when they are getting affected the chances for physical handicap there are different types of physically handicapped children one among them is cerebral palsy look at this child here the cerebrum that is that may get affected paralysis of one or more portions of the cerebrum that is in the brain that may get affected so because of that uh, cerebrum it's getting affected the child may have poor muscular coordination the child may not be in a position to pick out anything or doing anything by the hands and also coordination between eyes and hands also actually uh, most of the children with the special needs they may have this emotional disturbance often they want to be uh, sitting alone and they feel irritable also the cerebral palsy children they may have neurospinal and sensory handicaps also might be there along with this they may have look at this child speech impairment also might be there sometimes visual impairment also might be there because of this speech impairment there might be loss of hearing also so this is one type of physically handicapped child the other one is epilepsy look at these children how they are when the central nervous system that may get affected this epilepsy that may occur that is nothing but convulsions fits that is involuntary twisting of muscles during this time the child uh, becomes pale in color look at this boy's uh, hands and uh, this uh, legs and all you see it's becoming rigid stiffening stiffening of the body and the eyes also that may get uh, rotated uh, muscle also twitches so upper and lower limbs it's not normal that may get twitched okay another classification is spina bifida actually during the prenatal period itself by birth itself this defect in the spinal cord spine that may get affected so because of this the child needs a wheelchair or braces so the child may need help in walking only the lower limbs that may get affected uh, but uh, the look at this child normal uh, face only the child is uh, what to say laughing normal hearing normal speech normal vision normal intelligence or extraordinary gifted also will be there but only thing the lower limbs that may get affected this may happen during that prenatal period itself to the spinal cord what are the causes for it means main thing brain and nerve impairment during the prenatal and postnatal period so the pregnant mother and the lactating mother they must be very careful in this uh, prenatal stage they they should eat properly because of the malnourishment also this may happen during that uh, what is that uh, premature birth the child might be born before the period pregnancy i mean full development happens you know before that itself the child may born so premature birth also because of that immature nervous system that may happen so because of that also there might be chances for physical 
handicap. During the pregnancy time, when the mother faced this uh, difficult labor or long labor, when the labor process is lengthened, because of that also the brain and nerves that may get affected. And after birth also, the accidents may happen to the child. So, because of that also the child may get physical handicap. And we must be very careful during the fever time and all. When the child gets fever, high fever, uh, that must be taken care well. So, because of that also, handicap, physical handicap that may occur. So, how do you prevent or how do you take care means, whenever the surgery is needed, immediately the child must be taken to the hospital and surgery must be done as early as possible. So, when the doctor subscribe medicines that must be given periodically to the child. When they ask the child to do this uh, physical therapy exercise, when they ask, you know, that also must be done. According to the condition of the child, we can provide the education. Suppose if the child is not in a position to go to school, we can provide vocational training. Something whatever the child prefers that can be given. Uh, as usual, what uh, we do during that uh, pregnancy time, the pregnant mother must be taken care well and whenever uh, immunization is given means the pregnant mothers they should get it properly. Main thing the parents or elders they must take care of the child properly under their uh, supervision so that we can prevent this childhood accidents. So, this is the main cause for getting this physical handicap so that must be avoided when we take care of the child properly. The other children extreme condition that is uh, gifted, 1 to 2 percent of the population may have this uh, type of child. See look at these children, as soon as they born, they might be not normal, extraordinary kids who are the gifted children. Having an IQ, IQ means intelligent quotient, normal IQ, what is the normal IQ of a person? 92, yes, 92, 110. So, suppose when the child has the IQ of 130 or higher than that, they are called as gifted. So, having the IQ of above 130, the 130 and above, they are only called as gifted children. What are the characteristics of these gifted children means? Uh, these children everything they may do, everything fastly, interestingly, whatever the challenges that we give you know, they may tackle it uh, easily, quickly and uh, in a proper way also. So, they may learn fastly and also they learn easily also and they expect uh, challenging tasks. Even when we give more than 10 tasks also they may do. So, they might be ready to do many tasks. They know many things. Good in communication, vocabulary, they know many words. And they may understand anything easily at an early age itself. And uh, they may solve any problem quickly. They may recognize the relationship. What is the relationship between any two? That also they may understand. Then, uh, when we teach anything, they ask questions critically. Why this happened? What happened to that? What is the reason for it like that? They may ask. And the curiosity will be there. Eagerness in knowing many things. And whatever uh, others say, they observe keenly. So, first uh, for learning, we should observe keenly, whatever others say, we should observe keenly. So, that quality they may have and whenever they learn one thing in one situation, they apply that uh, uh, concept in other situation also, right? They have uh, passionate interest, okay? And uh, easily they may do any of the activities. Persistent in seeking task completion. So, that means what to do next, what to do, how to complete that. They, Whenever the task is given to them, they will continue that. They will 
Anyhow, they will complete that work persistent in seeking task completion and uh, they want to work independently. They don't, they don't expect others to be with them. They need a little direction only. Uh, like um, sometimes they don't prefer doing any of the task in group. They expect they themselves may do the task. And uh, main thing because of the talent, because of the skills they may have, they may dominate others, they may take charge of the responsibilities also. And uh, that's what I told you know, they ask if questions, what will happen if I do that? What happen if, if it happens like this? Like that they may ask. And they may provide new ideas, they may enjoy experimentation, invent new things, invent new things, new methods. But main thing is they might be considered to be daydreamer. Okay. Sometimes they might be absent minded. Uh, then they, they will be having the quality of humor. They may express the aesthetic sense also. They know the value of things also. This justice they may have strong sense of justice. They fight against something injustice happens in the world. They are very self-confident. Self-esteem also will be very good. Uh, suppose 8 year old means they expect the company, I mean friends must be more than 8 years like 10 or 12 year old or 15 even 40 years also they, they may have companions. And they are very perfect in doing many things. They prefer friends not with the same age group but their friendship might be based on the similarity of interest suppose if the child is good in cricket means cricket playing means the child gets a company older than him that is who is interested in cricket they may adjust easily well with the new situations and uh, they are that's what i told you justice because of that they may have conscientious and truthful they are very friendly and helpful for others how do you take care of these gifted children first thing is segregation in schools and all they may do you know a special class separate class might be there those who have got more marks like that provision of special class to those kids but What's the drawback of this uh, segregation means? Um, they don't have the chance to mingle with the normal average or below average children. Acceleration, this is what double promotion. Suppose if the child is good in first standard means they might be double promoted to third standard like that. Double promotion. Enrichment, that means not only giving one subject, one assignment, variety of subjects might be given according to his or her interest, variety of assignments will be given, projects might be given, additional work might be given or extra work, project, many things will be given in order to enrich his or her knowledge. So this is what how to take care of the gifted children. First one is segregation, second one is acceleration, and the third one is enrichment. I hope you have all understood the uh, meaning, causes, prevention, treatment of physically handicapped and gifted children. Next class we will see the remaining balanced children with special needs. Thank you.